Donald Trump's civil fraud trial entered a second day on Tuesday, a case that could end up dismantling his business empire as the former U.S. president seeks to re-enter the White House in 2024. This woman is grossly incompetent. He renewed his attacks on Letitia James before the day's proceedings. The New York attorney general is aiming to prove that Trump inflated his wealth by lying about his real estate empire. She has accused Trump, his two adult sons, and others of inflating asset values over a decade to ensure favorable bank loans and insurance terms and exaggerating Trump's own riches by more than $2 billion. Early on, the government's first witness, Donald Bender, Trump's former accountant at Mazars USA, resumed his testimony, revealing that financial statements he prepared for the Trump organization were largely based on self-reported figures. Meanwhile, the trial judge has already ruled that Trump committed fraud and canceled business certificates for companies that control crown jewels of Trump's portfolio, including Trump Tower and 40 Wall Street in downtown Manhattan. James is seeking at least $250 million in fines, a permanent ban against Trump and his sons Donald Jr. and Eric from running businesses in New York, and a five-year commercial real estate ban against Trump and the Trump Organization. Trump has denied wrongdoing, and his lawyers have said they will appeal. Later in the day, the judge overseeing the case imposed a gag order after Trump used social media to lash out against the judge's top law clerk. Major U.S. stock indexes plunged Tuesday as economic data underscored the view the Federal Reserve may need to keep interest rates high. The Dow shed about 1.3 percent. The S&P 500 dropped nearly 1.4 percent, while the Nasdaq plummeted almost 1.9 percent. Data showed U.S. job openings unexpectedly increased in August, fueling worries about a tight labor market ahead of Friday's key monthly jobs report. Atlanta Fed President Rafael Bostic said there is no urgency for the central bank to raise its policy rate again, but it will likely be, quote, a long time before rate cuts are appropriate. Cleveland Fed President Loretta Mester said she is open to raising rates again, potentially at the bank's next meeting. In company news, shares of Amazon and Microsoft dropped more than 3.5 and 2.5 percent, respectively, after Reuters reported British media regulator Ofcom will push for an antitrust investigation into the company's dominance of the UK cloud computing market. With third quarter earnings season kicking in, investors are hoping results could provide some positive news again for the market. 